So Heathrow is already one of the most sustainable airports in the world and of course we'd like to take that further. With the, the airport terminals, the surrounding offices, the cargo areas, the car parking, all of that is fitted within an area of about 1,200 um, hectares. I suppose one of the most um, uh, important or significant aspects at Heathrow is vehicles. We've got over 8,000 vehicles that are needed to turn around the um, 1,350 aircraft that go in and out of Heathrow every day. We have 12 Nissan Leaf currently in our fleet. They perform a number of roles. Security have some, the ramp operations people have them, baggage and, and our management use them. We had them for about a month where we tried them out to see about range, um, drivability, vision, particularly important on the airport, have to be able to see all around, um, and just suitability for both summer and winter. Those went really, really well, in fact so much so that within a few months um, we had actually brought them into service. Heathrow Airport Limited are looking to bring 130 electric vehicles from their own fleet by 2020. So what we're doing is we're focusing on all small vans and cars to move them from fossil fuels to electric vehicles. Well, one of the most critical areas we've got to look at initially is the provision of charging facilities. So we've committed to make sure that we have enough charging facilities in place to support the growth in electric vehicles that we expect over the next 10, 20 years at the airport. Sustainability is key to our decision making. It, it's in every decision that we make now. So whether it be planning future terminals, infrastructure changes, but also in our fleet. So to move from traditional uh, combustion engines to electric is really key, both for being a good neighbour, so reducing emissions locally, but also about making aviation sustainable. So that the LEAF and other electric vehicles are perfectly suited for the sort of journeys that we have uh, in an airport environment. The short uh, hops between areas, the long waiting before moving off, uh, the, the extended idling are perfect for electric and of course what we've seen in the past is that's been difficult particularly for diesel engines and it has a mechanical impact on them. So vehicles and vehicle emissions is a key component of our strategy and certainly over the last five years we've been trying, working hard to try and improve that so from 2008-2013 ground-based NOx emissions have, have been reduced by 16% so it's a key element for us but obviously we want to do more in the future as well.